this is Tim DeLeo with using Windows Home Server.com and BYOB. I'm here tonight with John Zagler, Die Hard, from the Home Server Show. How are you doing tonight, John? Hey, Tim, I'm good. Hey, thanks How are for. You? Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we had talked a couple of days ago and tried a unsuccessful, unfortunately, installation of the first add in on Veil. Uh, I'd had a little bit of conversation over email with. Andreas, who is the author of this add-in, and he sent me the latest beta version that John and I were going to try tonight. So this is just a pretty much impromptu video, and John and I are just going to run the new Wake on LAN Veil add-in. Uh, John and I were talking, and one of the things that's most important with the new add-in is the file extension. John, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, one of the new things with the, the veil is the uh, the extension type. It's going to be now a WSSX type. And if you have the veil uh, dashboard installed on your computer, then on your PC or your laptop, it'll recognize that type of extension and realize that it's a uh, Windows Home Server add-in, and then it'll install it on the on the PC and on the server too through the PC. So that's because uh, that's it. They're doing it differently than they did for version one. Right, version one was just MSI files that were stored onto the software folder within version one. So, uh, although you will be missing the software folder, uh, you won't actually be needing it for add-ins for Veil. So you can see here, you can see the extension, you can see what we're going to do, and basically all I'm going to do is just double click on it, and we'll walk through the installation. Now it's going to go through and validate the add-in against the server requirements. So we're going to click on the password here. We'll get that taken care of. Click on Next. The license agreement, I'm going to click on Next. And then we're going to install the add-in. Okay, the add-in was installed successfully. This is great news for us. Remember, John, a couple of days ago we had done this, it had not installed, and it gave us a um, an exception error. So this That's is right. so this is great for us. We're going to click on close. Now, since we're ready to go, I'm just going to toss this in the trash, and we're going to double click on the dashboard. Open up the dashboard. We'll log in for the first time, and we should see a new tab. That says Wake on LAN. Okay, you can see now I have an extra tab here, which is the first time I've ever seen this. Um, it's called Wake on LAN. You can see here that I have my HTPC. That's the one that had the Corsair in it. My Dell 15, that's the one I'm recording on. My Hybrid 140, that's the one John and I are talking on. Uh, Sandra PC, which is an uh, extra PC that I had that is not online. And then Vail Server. So uh, this is really good news for us and everything uh, is going well. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice here is when you click on this, um, you won't have any action until you get to a PC that is not online. And I'm not sure if you're seeing this okay, John, uh, but when you click on the PC that is not online, you're going to get a wake up tab. And if you look on the right hand side, it says wake up. And what you'll do is you'll just click on that or you can actually right mouse click and click on wake up and that will wake up the PC. So this add-in worked properly. Uh, I'm going to have John real quick while we're online check the web interface and then I'll have a screenshot of that uh, at the end of the video. So what do you think John? Pretty simple? Pretty straightforward for our first add-in? Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say when it runs properly it's a nice and clean and easy install. To access Wake on LAN from outside your home network, go to your Veil internet site. When you get to your home page, you'll notice a Wake on LAN area with any PCs that are available to Wake on LAN. Click on the red circle to wake. If you want to see all of your devices, click on Show All Devices, and this will show all of the devices connected to your Veil server. As you can see, I have one in green that is already running, two that are not running or not available, and one that is in process.
Yeah, so uh, I'm using Windows 7 on my PC. So what I do is I click on Start, and okay. then I see uh, Control Panel. Okay. Click on that, and I'll see Network and in Internet. So click on that one. Then uh, the top one will be Network and Sharing Center. Click on that. Okay. Then I get on the left, I have Control Panel Home, and Change Network Adapter Settings, and Change Advanced Sharing Settings. So I'll click on the second one, Change Adapter Settings. Then I see uh, a list of my network cards, and in my case, it's the center one called Local Area Network. So I'll right click on it and select Properties. Then I get the Local Area Connection Properties uh, screen pops up, and I see my uh, generic Marvel Yukon. Uh, network card and it says that there's a configure tab so I'll click on configure okay and then I'll have a window that opens up it has general advanced drivers details and power management so uh, I'll select advanced and then I'll look at the menu there's a, a menu of a list of a whole bunch of uh, options and at the bottom I'm looking at uh, wake from shutdown so I'm turning that one on so when you highlight it on the right you should see it says value and this is there's a pull-down menu for on or off. So in my case, I put it on. So at least this way you can wake up a, uh, a PC that is on. It's actually shut down because you're, when the PC is shut down but they, it has power from the wall outlet, it, the uh, network card is actually still being powered. So uh, it, it can wait for a signal if you have it telling it you know, to say, hey, if there's a signal comes in from a, a device to wake you up, then allow that to work. So uh, that's an option. And then the other option I have is a wake up capabilities. And so now you have to choose what type of information that is that it receives will wake up the computer under what conditions. So in this case, you have a pull down menu and the option we take is magic packet or pattern match. So that's selected. And then finally, you go over to the other tab that says power management. And uh, you should have three lines. I have them all ticked. And the first one says, allow your computer to turn off this device to save power. The second one is, allow this device to wake the computer. And the third one, only allow a magic packet to uh, wake the computer. So once that's all set, then this, uh, your, your PC should uh, work properly with the added. Good stuff. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so now I logged in on your server. Uh, if John clicks on the website, which again, I'll have some pictures on here in just a moment, you can actually see that it shows the IPv4 and 6 addresses on there uh, and MAC addresses if, if available on there. So John can actually go in from Canada, um, log into my server, which I can't believe I gave him access to, and actually start up my computers from, from Quebec. There you go. Turn on all your electricity. Yeah, and unfortunately, we it's not unlimited like, like up there in Canada. So, Anyway, this has been great so far. Um, thank you to Andreas and to the company for getting us the latest update and working with us to make sure that everything works well. And we'll talk to you soon. Um, thank you, John, for joining us. Thanks, Tim. And we'll t see you next time. On most computer systems, you're going to need to go into the BIOS and enable the Wake on LAN feature. I'm in my Dell laptop, and Dell has a great BIOS interface. You can see that I have settings. I drop down to Power Management. I have USB Wake Support, and I have Wake on LAN. I will click on Wake on LAN, and I will click on LAN only. Your BIOS changes may be different, but this is how you do it for Dell systems. Once you're done, go click on Apply, and then click on Exit and let the system reboot.